Yes, but you, you, you may have bitten off something here that you, but you don't really want to chew on too heavily. The, um, and, and the, in terms of vernacular, which uh, I'm, I'm enormously taken with this language, and there are the, uh, the usage of the language and the vernacular that you may happen to use in a given situation, and uh, I, I don't believe there should be parameters in regard to why you can't use a that archetypal four-letter Anglo-Saxonese term, uh, whatever it may be, and um, because I, I believe they're appropriate. When um, I, I make the analogy, if you if you take a 32 ounce framing hammer and you miss the nail and you hit your thumb, you don't say Jiminy Crickets, nor do you say a Golly Wumpers. You know precisely what you say, because you, uh, although I I'm not I don't know what your predilections are in this regard, uh, you may very well have used those terms. The huge preponderance of people in this country use the terms that I used in those outtakes, which were the promulgation of the, of the whole idea of building a film. Um, those are commonplace. Now it may very well be that um, some people uh, don't um, don't find them appropriate. Um, I don't find them appropriate if I'm uh, uh, if I'm uh, in church uh, or if I'm um, in a social gathering or if I'm at a concert or wherever I am. But if I'm doing what I'm doing and doing what I did, that is to say, make media make film, do whatever it is, it, it's, it is, it's, an, it's commonplace.